Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel Master Marina Ramit Sangwan. In this video, we are going to see what is a ship security alert system, what it is used for and why is it required. Now, uh, all of us, we have seen uh, movies and in the movies, we have seen bank robbery scenes. So whenever we see a scene like a bank robbery in a movie, we always see that the bank manager or somebody working in the bank tries to press one button. And when, then, but when that button is pressed, then an alarm is raised in the nearest police station or the bank head office or somewhere. And the security team arrives in the bank and <clears throat> the robbers are scared away. Similarly, we have something similar to this in the ship also, which is known as ship security alert system. There are basically two push buttons. If you see in the picture here, there will be something like this, push button. More clearer, it will be like this, what you see here. There will be two of these buttons. One of the button will be on the bridge and the other one, will be in a safe location that can be in the master's cabin, it can be in the cargo control room or somewhere else in a safe location. So two buttons are there in two separate locations. The one on the bridge should be known to all the crew members. Whenever we have some kind of a security threat or a security incident is likely to happen on the ship, any of the crew members Whoever is closest to this button presses this button. And when this button is pressed, an alarm is raised. And that alarm is raised in the company security officer's knowledge. That can be on his mobile phone, in his cabin, in his office, somewhere where he is present 24 hours a day. And 24 into 7 and in one more location, that is the office of the flag state of that particular vessel. If it is a good flag state, then of course, yes, it is going to be raised in the flag state also. Otherwise, only in the company security officer's knowledge. And he is going to alert the flag state about the reception of the ship security alert system. Okay. For example, if you have pirates boarding your ship, or if you have terrorists boarding your ship, then this button can be pressed. Even when the pirates have reached the bridge of a ship, this button can still be pressed if they are not noticing you. So that is why it should be known to all the crew members on board the ship. Now it raises a covert alarm. A covert alarm is one which nobody comes to know about. It's only the person who is pressing this button knows that he has pressed the button. And the person who is receiving the alarm will know that he is receiving the alarm and the ship is in some kind of a danger. Apart from these two people, no overt alarm is raised. Nobody else will come to even know that this alarm has been raised. Now, when you are, if you need to press this alarm, you have to be very careful that it should be pressed for some minimum duration. Let's say, for example, five seconds, the button has to be pushed inside. It is covered with a glass cover, which can be removed with your finger pulled up with your finger, like how this white button is being pulled up from the top of this, this white cover is being pulled up from the top of the red button. And then the button has to be pressed, let's say for minimum five seconds, it will be mentioned in the specifications. Apart from this, there has to be a test mode also, so that you can test this button. Many of the companies require this SSAS button to be tested once every three months or once every six months, depends upon company to company. The procedure is that you're going to pick up the phone or via email, you're going to tell your company security officer that we are testing the ship security alert system. And when he acknowledges that, okay, you can go ahead and test, you press the button. And then the company security officer receives the alert. Then he'll tell you that I have received the alert. Then you're going to reset this button. Once the button is reset, you're going to call back the CSO and you're going to tell him that the testing is completed. And after this, if the button is pressed again, it should be taken as an actual alarm. 
So this is the basics of a ship security alert system. It is connected to the satellite communication of the ship. So no additional installation is required for this. <clears throat> so all ships are required to be provided with the ship security alert system. The intent is to send a covert signal or message from a ship that will not be obvious to anyone on the ship who is unaware of the alert mechanism. Ship security alert system transmits a covert alarm to one or more competent authorities ashore, indicating that the security of the ship is under threat or has been compromised. Ship security alerts can be activated in the event of any serious security incident, including acts of piracy and armed robbery against the ship. Administration, that means the flag state, designate one or more competent authorities ashore to receive ship security alerts from their solar ships. Any designated competent authority should be able to obtain the covert verification from the ship and alert the country's security forces responsible for initiating the security response to acts of violence against ships. For example, if the company security officer has received this alert, he's going to inform the flag state the flag state is going to inform the flag state which is closest to the ship where the ship is present there. That flag state will inform their uh, law enforcement agencies, maybe Coast Guard, maybe Navy, maybe military that we have a ship in this location and which is under threat, some kind of a threat and they may or may not proceed to investigate. It depends. It depends where you are close to, which country you are close to, how is this, whether it is a developed country, whether it is underdeveloped country whether they have that kind of infrastructure or not. Administrations have to establish an effective means of communication between their competent authorities and the security force responsible for the response. Many administrations have designated company security officers and a selected Maritime Rescue Coordination Center, MRCC, or equivalent agency as their competent authorities. Protocols have to be in place to ensure immediate communication between company security officers receiving a ship security alert and the selected competent authority, which is the point of contact with the responding security force. Company security officers are often in the best positions to seek verification of alerts from their ships. Covert verification can be achieved by pre-arranged exchange of messages. For example, if the CSO has received an alarm then he should verify it. He should try to verify it. For example, he may call the ship and there must be a pre-exchanged of messages has to take place. That means there has to be some code word or something that when he receives this alarm, anybody might pick up phone on the ship. Maybe the pirates will be picked up. So you can just call, let's say you just call number one and if you get an answer zero, that means you are under attack or if you can get a normal communication, that means nothing is under attack. So something like this, which is arranged between the CSO and the captain or any of the crew members of the ship. Others administrations have designated MRCC as their sole competent authority for the receipt of the ship security alerts. In such cases, the MRCC should establish procedures for verifying individual ship security alerts. Unless directed by the administration or security force, a competent authority who receives a ship security alert should not overtly acknowledge its receipt to the ship. So when this alarm is received by the CSO, he should not overtly received it. Overtly means he should not let the others, anybody know on the ship that I have received this alarm. Otherwise the pirates will become aware or the persons who have hijacked the ship will become aware that the other people are also, are also in the knowledge that they have hijacked the ships or they have attacked the ship. Administration should provide guidance to competent authorities on the procedure to be followed on the prioritization of ship security alerts, distinction between covert and overt alarms, receipt of false security alerts and distress security double alerts, and testing ship security alert systems and associated communication procedures. The IMO has requested that information be provided on the receipt of false security alerts and distress security double alerts. Administrations should ensure that ships that fly, they flag, test ship security alert systems and associated communication procedures on a regular basis. When doing so, it should be made clear that it is a test alert. In consultation with the responding security forces, 
administrations should develop protocols on notifying MRCCs in the vicinity of the ship, their governments, and the administrations or response organization in adjacent countries of the receipt of an alert. Upon receiving notification of a ship security alert from a ship entitled to fly its flag, the administration must immediately notify the states in the vicinity of which the ship is presently operating. If a security alert is received from a ship that is not entitled to fly its flag, the contracting government must immediately notify the relevant administration and if appropriate, the states in the vicinity of which the ship is presently operating. When activated, the ship security alert system must initiate and transmit a ship to shore security alert to a competent authority designated by the administration, which in these circumstances may include the shipping company. Identifying the ship and its location and indicating that the security of the ship is under threat or has been compromised. Not send alert to any other ships, not raise any alarm on board the ship and continue the alert until deactivated and or reset. The competent authority should be able to receive ship security alerts on a 24 into seven basis. The ship security alert system must be capable of being activated from the navigation bridge and in at least one other location. Conform to the performance standards not inferior to those adopted by the IMO and have its activation points designed so as to prevent the inadvertent initiation of an alert. When ship security alert system alert is raised, is received by the competent authority, either directly or via a service provider, it should include the following information, name of the ship, IMO number, that is ship's identification number, call sign, MMSI number, and position, that is GPS position, or GNSS position as we call it, that is Global Navigation Satellite System Position. The requirement for a ship security alert system may be met by using radio installations that have been approved by the administration. The competent authority is responsible for ascertaining whether a security alert is real or false. The ship security plan must include these details. They may be included in the plan or they may be included in some other place or either some other part of the plan which may be kept with, together with the SSP or apart, separate from the SSP. And this separate document should be known to the master SSO or other senior shipboard personnel selected by the company, which should include the identification of the ship security alert activation points and procedures to be used, including testing, activation, deactivation, and resetting to limit false alerts. Administration may require this information to kept in a document separate from the ship security plan to avoid compromising its confidentiality. A master may use an overt alarm that is one such as a VHF broadcast, which makes no attempt to deny knowledge of its activation, in addition to a covert alarm as a means of discouraging a security threat from becoming a security incident. So that was about the ship security alert system, gentlemen. It is a very good thing to have on board the ship and all the solar ships are required to have this. Thank you for listening to this chapter on ship security alert system. And thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, you can share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe this channel, Master Marina Ramit Sang 1. <clears throat> this video will be very helpful to the students who are doing security course very useful for the seafarers who are going on the ship so they are aware of what a ship security alert system is and very useful to the students who are preparing for competency exams. Thank you once again for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe this. Thank you.